if crime is going down and McHenry County is the safest county, why is there so much concern about no cash bail? Well, oh, the, the, the main concern that I have is, uh, well, first of all, crime could be lower. So if, when you're talking about crime, uh, you're talking like, and the causes of crime, everybody wants to point to one thing. It's, there's probably more variables in, involved in crime going up and down than any other social phenomenon that I can think of. So the idea is that, uh, has anybody here been the victim of a crime? Okay, like, uh, it is, it's, it's, even minor crimes, it's like you've fallen through the ice. The world does it's a, it's a, betray, it's a societal betrayal. And uh, the worse the crime is, uh, the more um, that it haunts you, and the more that it haunts things, um, and the more that it creates um, wounds, emotional and physical, that people have to live with for the rest of their lives and in a totally unfair way. And it's, it's totally unfair because you have a, a lot of times somebody who uh, is immature, who uh, is, uh, uh, refuses to sacrifice, uh, who refuses to comply with the eminently reasonable restrictions placed under the law, doing something for his own benefit that costs you a lifetime of pain. Uh, and so the idea is that that is something that as a society we should want to prevent. And we, should want to, we should want to minimize to the smallest possible degree that we possibly can. So anything at all that increases crime, even in a low crime area, to me, it's intolerable, all right? But the, bot the bottom line is, is that we, we had, starting in the late 90s, and, and uh, we had the, the biggest drop in crime because of tough on crime policies that this country has ever seen, all right? So we went from the highest crime rate the country had ever seen in the late 1990s, 10 years later, to crime rates that were on par with 1950s levels. So it worked. It all work and stop one of the worst things that we as a society have to contend with on a day-to-day -day basis, and then they broke it. And then they broke it. Um, and it just drives me crazy because we have the best criminal justice system that based on hundreds of years of wisdom of some of the smartest people that have ever graced this planet, and we and for whatever reason, just for, for, for the wrong-headed, narcissistic reasons, people came in and said, we know better. We're experts in, yeah, we've never spent a day in the criminal justice system, but we're gonna pass a law that knocks out a fundamental pillar of the criminal justice system, which is cash bail, which has been around for 300 years, in 4.30 at night, with no debate whatsoever, and without any time to actually think about whether or not this is a good idea, you know? And so, yeah, that that is, uh, that <laughs> I can see people are kind of staring at me like, it's going crazy, <laughs> but I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to say that it is very frustrating uh, to have to be to have to be part of the criminal justice system to appreciate it for the greatest criminal justice system it is, and then some people with no idea what they're talking about come in and try to make these sweeping changes. Uh, so I hope that's around.